On the 1st of March, people in Wales and across the world join together to celebrate St David's Day. It presents an opportunity to celebrate our people, history and culture, and to reflect on where we are as a nation. A lot has happened in the last five years. Five years ago, the UK was looking forward to the Olympics in London. Welsh companies contributed to the construction of the Olympic Park. Overseas teams trained in Wales. The Royal Mint in Llantrasant made the medals and Welsh members of Team GB brought many of those medals back home to Wales. We have since seen exceptional Welsh performances at the Commonwealth Games, a heroic performance from the Welsh rugby team at the Rugby World Cup and the Welsh football team reach the Euros 2016. Wales has also hosted major sporting events including golf's Senior Open, the UEFA Super Cup, the Ashes Test Match in 2015 and, with England, the Rugby League World Cup. On the 26th of March, the World Half Marathon will be in Cardiff. As well as world-class sporting venues, we have great facilities, like the world's first full-length coastal path, mountain bike runs to match some of the best in Europe, the fastest zip wire in the world, and slate caverns transformed into an underground trampolining adventure. It's no wonder that Wales is featured in the Rough Guide's top 10 countries to visit in 2016. Wales has also hosted significant international events outside sport, including Womex 2013, the World Music Expo. In 2014, world leaders came to the NATO Wales Summit in Newport. For many, their first visit to Wales, and many spoke about the warmth and hospitality that the Welsh offer. Barack Obama, the first US president to visit Wales while in office, encouraged people in the United States to visit Wales, saying that it was a country of extraordinary beauty, wonderful people, and great hospitality. The summit was a huge success story. It's a sign of a mature, devolved Wales that we could host this event safely and successfully. The first time a political event on this scale had ever come to the UK. The devolution story has continued to evolve since the Government of Wales Act in 2011 gave Wales greater lawmaking powers. 2012 saw the first piece of legislation created wholly in Wales for more than 600 years when the Official Languages Bill was given royal assent. The groundbreaking Human Transplantation Wales Act introduced presumed consent of organ donation. The Wellbeing of Future Generations Wales Act comes into force in April. It's about improving the social, economic, environmental and cultural well-being of Wales for future generations. At Climate Change Week New York in 2015, Nikhil Seth of the Department of Economic and Social Affairs at the United Nations said, we hope that what Wales is doing today, the world will do tomorrow. Wales's economy is also on the up. In 2013 to 14, we saw the highest number of inward investment successes in 30 years. New investors in 2014 to 15 have included Finnish software company Leadin, Calbi, Japan's leading snack food manufacturer, and US cybersecurity company Alert Logic. Science and engineering have seen significant developments too. Wales is growing an international reputation for world-class research and development. Our innovative life sciences hub, Seo Cymru, a scheme to attract world-class scientists, and the £450 million science and innovation Bay Campus at Swansea University are contributing to that story. Our creative industry sector is also thriving. In 2014, Pinewood Studios came to Wales. Now, attracting the company which makes the James Bond films is testament to the burgeoning creative industry sector here. Wales produces programmes with a worldwide following like Doctor Who and Sherlock, as well as having success in the gaming sector. We continue to value and protect our heritage and language. The last five years, has seen the Official Languages Wales Act 2012, a new Welsh language commissioner and standards. And last year, I visited Patagonia to mark the 150th anniversary of the Welsh settlement in the Chubut province. In 2014, DT100 celebrated 100 years 
since the birth of one of Wales's most well-known poets and writers, Dylan Thomas. And this year, we'll be celebrating the centenary of Cardiff-born author Roald Dahl with another year-long programme of events. I hope that these events capture the imagination of people around the world, just as Dahl did with the storytelling. Wales is a great country with great people. The St David Awards, now in their third year, acknowledge the achievements of people in Wales. Look out for this year's winners to be announced on the 10th of March. Wherever you are in the world, I wish you a happy St David's Day. Hoffwn i ddymuno, dydd gwyl dewi hapus iawn i chi. <laughs>